my god you guys look i'm actually leaving my house <clears throat> today i finally feel human enough to be able to actually go out and do some things that i need to do <clears throat> one of which is getting the package i need to get done for sandy at left is right crochet oh sorry that left is right crochet I have to get a box out to her for our February thing. <clears throat> it's already the 22nd. I just, oh my God. <clears throat> I've been so sick, I just haven't been able to, to uh, do anything. So her package might be a little bit late. But I'm going out. <clears throat> I still nasally, I just basically have a little bit of a cold I guess now <clears throat> but I've got my my mask and <clears throat> it's all good <clears throat> so let's go My, our dollar stores never have yarn. Just walked in here and look at this. <clears throat> they actually have like chunky blanket yarn. And they have like a faux fur. <clears throat> and they have something over here that looks like it could be wool, so I won't touch it. Brushed yarn. They have Huh, isn't that cool? Oh, huh. interesting. And they've got little things of thread. Wow. Oh, man, it's like zero degrees here. And I had to take my coat off because I'm just drenched in sweat. <clears throat> Gotta remember, I guess, it's been over a month since I've been outside. And I'm just, you know, I'm still really weak. So just walking around the store and stuff is just taking a lot out of me. <clears throat> and I'll tell you, whoops, I'll tell you, <clears throat> trying to cough in public, don't do it. <laughs> People just look at you like you have the plague. Uh, which is really sad. <clears throat> so, okay, where am I going? <sighs> oh, but I guess, you know, it does feel good to be out. Um, still don't like being around people. <laughs> but uh, it is so foggy here right now. I don't know what the heck is going on here. There's still a little snow on the ground in the <clears throat> parking lots. But for the most part, the snow's gone. So I told George, um, we had three bags of, oh my God, I'm a mess, I should've wore a hat. <clears throat> I told George to put away the three bags of salt that we've got. And he says, winter's not over yet. I'm like, don't say that. <laughs> I don't want any more snow, forget it. So, yeah, it's, <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I don't want snow anymore. I don't want to, I want, don't want to do winter anymore. <clears throat> so, uh, now I'm off to Michael's. Yay. That always, you know, I'm, I'm still really disappointed with Michael's because Michael's is just, they've, they need to up their game. They really do. And I'm seeing it in a bunch of videos too. Like a, most of the people that I've, I watch, they go to Michael's and they've got the same problem. Like Michael's just is not what it used to be, you know, and, and it got bought out too 
by another company and they still haven't upped their game. <clears throat> so I don't know what's happening, but I dread thinking about going to Walmart, but I might have to. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, so here we go. <laughs> Once again, Michael's big disappointment, <sighs> except <clears throat> now that our roads are open and, um, and all of that, trucks are starting to come in now. <laughs> so now they just got a whole shipment of Christmas stuff. And now they've had to mark it down to next to nothing to get rid of it. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> kind of like that. So, okay, off to the next place.
Oh my god. <laughs> Somehow I think that's too big to ship. <laughs> so cute. Once again, disappointment. <sighs> you know, Nanaimo is just not the place for yarn. So, I'm in Walmart doing some grocery shopping. And this woman goes and she's looking at the celery. I'm waiting for, to get some celery. And she's touching every freaking one of them. I'm like, seriously? <clears throat> it's like, my God, you don't need to touch them all. Oh, I was so pissed. So I asked the guy <clears throat> that was in the produce department. I says, do you have any more celery? Because, you know, I'm not going to pick one of those. You know, so he brought me out a celery, which was really nice of him. <laughs> but that just pisses me off, you know? It's like, my God, you can see them. It's not like fruit where you squeeze it to see if it's good. You know, you can tell if they're brown. You can tell if they're not good. You don't need to be touching them all. Oh, <clears throat> my rant for the day. And then on top of that, <clears throat> I'm sitting, I took off my coat. <clears throat> I'm sorry guys. I took off my coat and put it in the car because I was sweating like crazy. Look at my hair, it's like all the. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I went in the store, started shopping. I'm halfway through my shopping. I got like a list of things that I still had to get. And I start having a coughing fit. My cough candies are in my jacket in the car. So I had to cut my <clears throat> shopping short and get the hell out of there. Because <clears throat> God forbid you have somebody looking at you like, you know, going, oh, COVID, COVID. And it's like, yeah, whatever. Because <clears throat> I don't have COVID anymore. It's just a cold kind of thing. So I'm not contagious. I don't know. People are just assholes. <clears throat> but I beelined it out of there. I <clears throat> as fast as I could. So that oh, that really sucks. You know, <clears throat> that people have to be like that. So I'm going to go I got a gift certificate for my daughter for Starbucks. So I'm going to go and get myself a latte to make myself feel better. Hi there, how can I help you today? Hello, can I get a Vente hazelnut latte please? A Vente hazelnut latte, anything else? Do you have any banana loaf? I will go check on that. Thanks. Yes, I do. Did you just want one? Yes, please. Anything else today? That's it. All right, I'll have your total at the window for you. Thank, Thank you. you. I haven't had a hazelnut latte in quite a while. So excited. Don't cough, don't cough, don't cough, don't cough. Uh. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Go. Where did we go? 
Thank Bye, you. Baby. You too. Well, isn't that funny? I watched her take the banana loaf out of a plastic bag, out of a little plastic bag, and put it in their Starbucks things. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> Okay, so I got my bird suet and I got a new hummingbird feeder because the ones that I've got suck. They're like the old style and they're so hard to clean because you gotta take the whole thing apart and soak it and you gotta take Q-tips and you gotta get in there. It's like, oh, ah. So I got a new one and hopefully this one will be better. It's kind of like a saucer. I'll show it to you guys. But anyway, <clears throat> Starbucks. Okay, do not drink Starbucks <clears throat> when you have cough, med a cough candy in your mouth. It doesn't taste very good. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> homeward bound. <laughs> back so <clears throat> I really needed to put down my movie marquee blanket for a couple of days because I was just going Bleh. Um, and I decided to start this this is the ice yarns that I was showing you the boucle <laughs> fiasco that I had um, <clears throat> this was um, oh, I guess I could get a ball of it, but here's a partial, uh, a partial one. <clears throat> so it's this stuff. Um, it doesn't say much on here, <clears throat> but the, the number, if you went to ice yarns, the number that you put in is 71908. And, um, it's 80% acrylic, 20% nylon. And I know a lot of people don't like homespun or boucle yarn, but you know what? This wasn't horrible to work with. It kind of snagged up on my hook a little bit, but I muscled through and I got this cardigan finished. <clears throat> um, I got it done in three days. And uh, I actually really like the way it turned out. It's a little bit too small for me. Oh, George just walked in the door. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's a little bit small for me. So it's probably more of a large. And uh, I just love the coloring that it is in it. it the, the different shades of the beige um, really show up in this. And it's really, it's kind of shiny. So it's really pretty. Hi, hon. It's in the fridge. Yeah. We'll go look. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, yeah. And I did a little bit of a wider cuff or a longer cuff. And I think it turned out really nice. It's heavy. It's really heavy. <clears throat> so, but I used, they, this is a, I don't know if this is a 50 gram or 100 gram ball uh, no you can eat it cold hold on one sec guys okay so it says it's a 50 gram ball 150 meters 
So I used, got my little bag with all my things in it. Because a lot of people ask me how much yarn I use. And it's, you know, whenever I do a tutorial and stuff, I don't tell you how much yarn I've used because everybody's a different size. So there's no point in me telling you, you know, well, this is how much I used if you're a size medium, right? I, I always tell you to go by the size of your body. So I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. Nine, uh, nine and a half, let's say. <clears throat> um, I bought a lot of this stuff and I still have a couple packs left and it comes two to a pack. So yeah, um, but I, I love the way it turned out. I really do. It's so squishy soft, but it's like a weighted blanket. Like it's, it's got some heft to it, <clears throat> but I like that, right? Cause then you just cozy up in it, right? So anyways, um, I just wanted to show you that and I'm, it's not going to be a tutorial because it's just straight on uh, half double crochets. And then this is double crochets. That's it. <laughs> you know, I might do, uh, a, well, maybe I'll do a tutorial. I don't know. I, maybe it'll be a tutorial that I do for um, the uh, collab that I'm doing with Jeanette from Hootie Hootin It. <clears throat> but I just did a sweater my very the very first one that we did it was a, a sweater so this maybe won't be for a couple months um I have a couple of other ideas so anyway yeah so thanks for coming along with me on my first day out in a month and a half <laughs> it felt really good but I was stupid and I went grocery shopping and I was like it took a lot out of me. So I'm going to go rest. <laughs> okay. So thanks for joining me, you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Okay. Don't forget to come back. Uh, in a few days, we're going to be doing the last part. Of Heather, the crochet witch, and I are going to be doing our last parts of the movie marquee uh, blanket challenge. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you guys. Heather and I discussed. And because I'm having such a hard time with these, this blanket, um, we decided to change the whole thing to movie marquee challenge instead of the movie marquee blanket challenge, because Heather is a blanket wizard. I am not. So we are going to open up the whole spectrum to making whatever you want. Okay, so every month we're going to have a new movie. We're going to show you the poster, use the colors in the poster and make whatever you want. So you could probably guess that I'll be making some sweaters and some other wearables, right? And so, yeah, so if you want to make what, just whatever you want, you can make an amigurumi in those colors. The sky's the limit in what you're going to be able to do. <clears throat> okay, so... We are changing that <laughs> so a lot more people can join in because I know a lot of people are like me and they just cannot do blankets. Um, so we've decided to do this to make it a little easier and to open it up to everybody. And I am so thrilled that you guys are, are starting to post some pictures and stuff in the Facebook group <clears throat> to show me what, oh my goodness, the, the blankets that are in there right now <clears throat> are gorgeous. So, yeah, so in a few more days, we're going to find out what Heather is picked. So join us back for that. Don't forget to go to her channel. Check it out. Um, don't forget to go to Jeanette at Hootie Hootenins. She has some things coming up. Her whole family's still sick. Uh, I think her husband's a little bit better, but now she's not, she's not well again. <clears throat> Stupid COVID, I tell you. Um, so anyways, but she's muddling through and she's making things and she is coming out with a pattern. She, I'm going to be a pattern tester for her. <gasps> it's an amigurumi. 
<gasps> so it's going to be interesting. We'll see how I do because it looks like there may be a few pieces that need to be sewn on. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. So uh, yeah, go check out her, her stuff. And uh, I guess we will talk to you later. Oh, hey. And Sandy Duda is back from her trip. Yes, we had a video chat this morning. I was so thrilled. I couldn't wait to see her um, <clears throat> and to hear about her adventure. So I'm sure that on Thursday night when she does her live, she's going to tell you guys all about it. <sighs> Octavia's got some explaining to do. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> okay, I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Okay, bye. Thank you.